guys, so it is 2.38 on Friday and an hour ago, mm, heartburn, I started having contractions. They have been consistently around six to seven minutes, um, lasting but between like 44 seconds to a minute and they are strong. So my husband's on his way home. Um, my mother-in-law and sister are on red alert and we're just gonna sit here and wait until it is time to call the doctor or my water breaks. So let's hope that this is real and it sticks this time because we've had a couple false labor scares, but <sighs> my due date is tomorrow, September 9th. So let's hope this baby comes on time. Okay, so it is now 3.20 and my water broke. So we are headed to the hospital. My water's never broken on its own, so this is freaking crazy and exciting. But it wasn't clear. It was like kind of like a brownish yellow mucusy. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So we are headed to the hospital. I'm scared and freaking out. That's why the camera is shaking. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. So it is five o'clock and I'm four centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. Waiting on an epidural. <laughs> and very very excited. Very excited. <laughs> For Kingston and Emmy to meet him. I know. Oh, Kingston's so gonna go nuts mm -hmm. over his little brother. Oh, yeah. Kingston's mm -hmm. already said he's gonna do everything except for change the poopy diapers. Yeah, he, you oh, rattled off everything. Say hello. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hello. 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 He's a little chunker. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. Are we sure seven six? I don't know. I think he's closer to nine. Let's see. Can he find closer to nine? Oh yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. We'll have to pop the little mittens off. No cheating, Mr. Keegan. No cheating, okay? Oh my gosh. I wish it was like that at the doctor's office. All right. Strip down naked before you get in the scales. No cheating by wearing a t-shirt. I don't know, he's wrapped up pretty oh, good. Oh, such a big dog. I ain't, oh, let's see. I know. Double. Yeah. I know, he's so, he's so mad at me for it. He's pretty solid. You got some poop on your butt. Good job. Daddy did that. Oh, we're big. Look <laughs> at those shoulders. I know, wow. His he's upper chest guy. is insane. All right, Remy. Yeah. I'm the truth. <gasps> oh, <my laughs> shit, you go, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Does that say 12 pounds? It says no. Nine pounds. Oh my god, I thought it was. I was like, he is no way. Nikki, you had a nine pound wow. baby? So, we are back in the room that we're going to be staying in for a couple of days. I have to stay in. Well, here's Keegan. I have to stay in this in the hospital for the full two days because when I was getting the epidural I moved it's been a while um, I moved jumped and he hit a nerve in my spine so they're afraid that and let me tell you when they do that that feels like you got shot or hit by electricity it hurts the worst ever um, so they are going to keep me here the two, full two days instead of just letting me go tomorrow um, just to see if I get the epidural headache because I guess if you get that it can be very debilitating and they have to do some kind of procedure to try to fix it so <sighs> fingers crossed I don't get it but I already do have somewhat of a headache and my back is hurting so bad so bad but everything else is perfect everything like I couldn't ask for anything better and he is 
so precious. He's so precious, you guys. Like, mm, so precious. I have to wake him up here in about an hour to breastfeed him. He's having a little bit of trouble latching on, but it was when he first was born, so he was a little tired. Um, it's about 1.15 in the morning now, so my husband went down to try to find us some food. And then right after I eat, I'm going to try to feed him again. And he is getting his blood sugars tested until probably like 7 in the morning because he's so big. <laughs> they want to make sure that he's okay, which so far is so good. He's had two tests already I believe and he's perfect so <sighs> I did not know this was gonna happen you know like I was complaining today that someone who was two weeks before me like two weeks um, earlier in her pregnancy than me had her baby and then later today out of nowhere when I was making no progress <laughs> I started having contractions and in between about 1 and 10 we had a baby. We had a baby. And it literally took me three hours to push, um, three hours, three minutes to push him out. Three minutes. <sighs> it's so, it just went like that. It went that fast. Um, my doctor, Dr. Silva, he came in and he's like, he's just up there. He's up too high still. Um, I had about three or four contractions. I'm like, I'm not feeling too right. He touches in there again and he goes, oh, he is right there. <laughs> He's like, go ahead and push. And I pushed three times. That was it. And then we had a baby. A nine pound baby that's almost ten pounds. <sighs> Murphy babies. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. 2.15. <laughs> Trying to figure that out. Um, Dana's napping. Baby's napping. I got a nap earlier, so I'm just staying up watching the baby so Dana can nap. Um, the but I had severe back pain. I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but it was so bad from the epidural, and it was a huge complication because I jumped when I was getting the epidural, and it was the most excruciating pain ever. I had Tylenol, um, ibuprofen, and Percocet, and it didn't touch it, and I went through that all night crying, not being able to move. <laughs> it finally went away. Um, I do think that I do have the epidural headache though, which is spinal fluid leaking into my brain. So we're working on that. And I also am bleeding a little bit too much. My uterus is not going back to where it should be. It's not contracting enough, even with breastfeeding. So I'm on medicine for that which causes severe cramping, so that's fun. Um, just having a little bit of complications, but so far nothing too serious, but I do have to stay in the hospital for another day. I need to shower and brush my teeth, but I miss my babies and I just wanna go home, but I'm loving this chunky baby. You guys gotta see him. Look at him. I have my blanket all around him. He just got done eating. He's so handsome. Not a lot of hair. A whole lot of chub. He's got, look at that double chin.
Can you tell me about the things that are killing